kid, I used to have crazy dreams because, uh, well, do you remember that, uh, you remember Nestle's Quick? You know, the powder, you'd put it in your milk and you'd stir it for like 30 minutes and no matter how hard you fucking, there was still chunks of powdery magma that would float up and explode in your eye while you're trying to drink. Take a sip. Oh, God damn, sand missile just blew up in my eye. The movie Dune is in my chocolatey drink. I don't like when the movie Dune is in my drink. Crazy. When I was like five or six years old, I took the, the powder and I snorted it. Because I heard about speed, so I thought speed, quick, maybe it's some kind of connection. Connection. <laughs> so then I would have fucked up dreams because, you know, I was all hopped up on the queue, as we called on the streets. <laughs> I'd just be <laughs> on my big wheel all strung out. <laughs> What am I doing with my fucking life here, man? Yeah, I'll play kickball tomorrow. Tomorrow. I can't kick the ball today. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling the kickball vibe. And I'll tell you what dream used to scare me when I was a little kid. Used to actually totally give me nightmares. Remember those Kool-Aid commercials? Where that, no, that big talking bowl of punch, he would come crashing through your fucking wall in your living room. You wouldn't even know he just, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right? And the little kids were all excited, yes, yes. And then they would drink out of him after debris fell in his open, dumb head. He would pour himself, oh yeah, oh yeah. Him and his crazy tights. I don't like that, I don't like where juice wears tights. It's a horrible combination, a bowl of juice wearing tights. Fuck drinking out of him. If that was me, I'd be like, no, no, no. You fix that wall before my dad gets home from work. He's gonna beat me with a belt. He's not gonna believe a talking bowl of fruit punch came in here. You stupid idiot. Yeah, coming through the wall is real fucking cool. Using the front door is cool. Don't touch me, you drink. Don't touch me, you giant beverage. You are sweating or condensating. I will kick you in the tights and you will go down. You're very top heavy. You glass bitch. You glass bastard. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> naughty, naughty Kool-Aid. <laughs> oh yeah. No. No. Oh yeah. yourself. 
Everything that you touch first, Latinos touch. We're there every day early. Everything you touch, let me give you some examples. Taco Bell had some tainted green onions. Oh God, I got E. coli from them. Some tainted green onions showed up at Taco Bell. Okay, white people get E. coli, the whole world fucking stops. Who picks the onions? Latinos. You talk shit about us, it gets down to the fields. I didn't hear you. What did they say about us? They don't want us here. We're lazy and we're depleting the system. Oh, yeah? Mira, quieren onions? Mira, cabrón. Hasta en el culo, wey. Here, take that shit to Taco Bell. Take it. There's your chalupa right there. Here, let me put some hairs. Ay! For my culo, because they hurt. Ay! There. Better. Think outside the bun. There. We don't fucking eat there. What do I care? Oh yeah, it's Halloween, mother bleepers. AKA All Hallows Eve. Where my witch is at? Let me start it off with a stone cold fact. You don't love Halloween, then you're gonna get smacked. We take this day serious because we're good at it, yo. It's a magical experience we will never outgrow. I got Snickers, Goober spilling out of my sack. I eat more candy than a pimp smokes crack. I'm a chocolate junkie, and you're my supplier. Junior Mints and Kit Kats are what I require. You better be ready when you get home from work. You don't answer your door, then we'll go berserk. I'll smash your pumpkins and egg your house too, and leave you a flaming bag of doggy poo. Don't turn off your lights. We know you're home. I'll beat your ass down with the Toblerone. That's, That's the Halloween code, code that we live our life by. It's, it's not trick or treat. It's, it's trick or treat or die. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. We're the illest trick or treaters in the autumn street. There's a Duke of Thanksgiving and a Christmas queen. But come October, we're the kings of Halloween. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. We're the illest trick or treaters in the autumn street. There's a Duke of Thanksgiving and a Christmas queen. But come October, we're the kings of Halloween. You've awakened the spirit of the Pumpkin King by pissing on the spirit of Halloween. Tis the season for fun, but you punks play dirty. Plus, you shouldn't be out here at the age of 30. You two losers are going down. For only I can wear the pumpkin crown. Your reign is over. Now I'll make you my biatch. I'll sentence you to prison in my pumpkin piatch. No, clearly the master. Can we just be friends? Use a shiny red apple to make amends. Don't mind if I do. That looks delicious. Ah, razor apple. This is nutritious he threw it in his grill he didn't even look that's the oldest trick in the trick-or-treat book sorry about your throat son i bet that stings that's, that's what, you what you get, get when you mess with the king trick or treat smell my feet we're the illest trick-or-treaters in the autumn street there's a duke of thanksgiving and a christmas queen but come october we're the kings of halloween trick or Thanks for watching. To check out exclusive behind the scenes footage, click right over here and don't forget to subscribe. Uh Live from the Raw Talk Studios in Southwest Florida, it's the Charles Richardson Show. What is up, everybody? It is a Wednesday, uh, October 21st, 2020, and uh, we are live, everybody, live, 7, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, and, um, well, just judge your time zone respectfully, I don't know. What is up? How you doing? We got uh, Mo in the house. Mo is back. What's going on? With Mo is back. Karen is here as well. Hello. And, um... Did you actually go live 4 o'clock today? I did. I did not see anything going on. I did not get an alert. How did everything go should on Should I that? have given you an alert? You should have. You should have given me a bump. 
Um, okay. Well. <laughs> no, I, I was just saying, how did everything go? It was, it went well because I've been doing this whole motivational thing for people to take a moment for themselves and just recharge, breathe, even if it's for a minute. Just for a minute? Hey. I can't recharge. No. I, you can Shit. take a deep breath. I am just, and just all over the place. I'm not getting my faba. Cameron's thing. There we go. Who am I? Oh, uh, and. Uh. But, but so today I was collaborating with a friend and she had listened to this motivational speaker and it was all about, uh, about making a fuck budget. So oh, what, what did you say? <laughs> fuck budget. Yes. I'm totally down for whatever that sounds like. <laughs> I know, a yeah. lot of guys were, they were like, Oh, so tell Fill me, me more. Yeah. Tell and me like, more about this fuck budget. Please it's do. not what you think. Oh yeah, it is. Come no, on now. It it's, really isn't. It's, it's a fuck. <laughs> Don't it, hold it's, out. it's a budget to fuck. How many things do you do? During your week that you really wish like I could get out of doing that. I wish somebody wouldn't ask me to do that. A, you, a co-worker asked you to do oh, something. That's like, lame. Every day. Well, exactly. There are things every day that we we don't care to really do. Yeah. So if you don't care about them or you don't give a fuck about them, then you've got to learn to, you know, say, OK, I have five fuck bucks this week. And you can either choose to use that fuck buck and go ahead and give a fuck, or you can just say, you know what, I'm saving my fuck buck and I don't give a fuck. And just go on. Don't feel guilty about it. Don't fuck feel you. like you have any repercussions about it. Don't be apprehensive about it. Just say, no, thank you. Fuck no, I can't you. Attend. No, I can't do this. No is a hard word for me. Noah. No. Not yeah. Noah. You know what? No. no. You know what? You're right. No is a hard word for you. And I really hope, since I think last year. You've actually gotten better and actually said no to a lot of people because they're just taking advantage. I have. Good. That's good. Do we that have up. video? Sorry to interrupt this because, oh, now she can try. I'll tell her to try now. I see the what? video. Uh, I was told there was no video. Oh, shit. Is that true? Well, I mean, I see a video, so. Yeah. There, be <clears throat> there better be a friggin' video. I told her to try again. You're going to have to fire that tech guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Mo. It's me. <laughs> Gonna fire my own damn self. So that was that I, was I'm really there, just there. the basis of the live, and I, I'm just trying to get people to realize that. Yeah. You need to start taking time to recharge, and mainly because it was a lesson for me is to take time for myself. Just even if it's in the bathroom, I hate so, to say that, but even if it's in the bathroom, you're brushing your teeth. Just pretend you're brushing your teeth for like two minutes longer. Really. If you're left alone in the bathroom, most of the time I'm not. It's like, mom, mom. Mom. Yeah. Nah, man. Or Karen, like the social, kids aren't listening. It's like social hour in the house in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, the that's right. the champagne room. Look, you think I'm joking, but I had I had a um, jacuzzi tub uh -huh. in my master, and I went in. I thought, okay, I've been here for three months in this house and I've not used it yet. I was hurting really bad. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go soak in it. I kid you not, I got in the tub, and here comes kid number kid number one, adult. Kid number one, by the way. So I'm like grabbing a towel. I'm like, hello, I'm in the tub. Oh, it's okay. So it's down on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a towel laying what over top of me in this tub with the jets going. I'm sorry, man, I'm but like, I, I would not go in the bathroom with now my is mom. That, <laughs> now, is that part of the fuck budget right there? The jets <laughs> this, are rolling. and Yeah, this is <laughs> this time. It's like, I don't give a fuck what you have to tell me. <laughs> go away. Close the door. Go. Yeah. Here's your fuck so, buck. but, and this, cause your this fuck is buck. how bad. I ended up with all five adult kids in there. Doing just all what? Out, just chatting with me. Everybody wants and to I'm, get in the bathtub with you I'm or like, something? I finally said, y'all do realize I'm laying here naked under a towel. They're Trying like, to vibrate and get one off like, into the tub. <laughs> and you're over here watching me. They're like, That's what you're doing. Yeah, you gotta, we you know. Gotta, you got to set boundaries. Oh my you got to set boundaries. And, that was, and that, that was mistake number one. And that's exactly what I tell people. Because yeah. I was a single mom for so long. No and means I told my no. Kids, I told my kids, you need anything. I'm yeah. always an open door. Well, now... I don't mean that literally now. Right, exactly. <laughs> like, that door was wide out. open. My mom's soaking the tub, you know. <laughs> just no. Listen, anytime you need something, you let mama know. Mama's an open door. Yeah. Okay, mama's in the tub. We need something. Mom, don't even knock. Just walk right in. That's Sit in the tub. Uh, mom, can, can you stop touching yourself for a second here, please? Mom, <laughs> what I need, I need a couple of extra bucks. No, we don't want the ones that you, the, the ones that you got while you were stripping. <laughs> Give me some of that, some of that clean, maybe sanitized, you know, because I know those guys don't wear masks. But uh, it, it just uh, just a couple of bucks. Okay, all right, you can go back to fingering yourself. Bye bye. And masks—that's another thing. Like I go to, I go up there to that resort to meet my friend, 
she was in the condo, I guess, apparently the whole time, the whole week, until I got there. I finally got her to leave the condo, and then she gets back home, and I get this message, I'm so scared. How long am I supposed to quarantine? I'm like, what? What? And I said, she goes, I was, I shouldn't have let my guard down, and I've, now I've been exposed to so many people. Oh, I'm like, oh my God. Get half a baseball team came in my car to meet you. Do, <laughs> like, do, do you realize if you go to any grocery store, you're, you're, I mean, yeah. it's just yeah. that bad because you're in an yeah, enclosed space. Yeah, but she doesn't even do that no, either. Especially oh. now that, that we're in phase three because everything's at 100%. Yeah. Dude, it is, there is no rules, no limits, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. We want to cross the border. Thanks, DeSantis. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Thanks, DeSantis. The <laughs> shitties. <laughs> Gotta love them. The shitties. Jesus. Yeah, what an ass. He's crazy. So, anyway, we're back. I am exhausted. Yes, I know it's been a couple of days since I get back, but I'm still catching up on sleep. I did not sleep well on Monday he's, when he's we got back. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's jet lag, right? Oh, Lord. Uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you one thing, though. The wife kept him up. So yeah, happened. well, probably did. <laughs> Actually, no, I think she was out before me. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. she, she, she's tired, and I'm the one that drove. And she's the one tired. You didn't share the driving? No. no, no, no. no. no he, I'm he not letting sure her drive. not to let her drive. Apparently, she, she got lost going somewhere at some point. <laughs> I it. told no you driving. this story, Karen. She She went up to see me. I lived in Tampa at the time, so she takes I-75 up there. And I-75, basically, if you go left, you go into Tampa. If you go right, you go to Plant City. Yep. And this was about the time where she, you know, got directions uh, on her phone. She takes a right and she ends up halfway down to, to freaking Lake, almost to Lakeland before <laughs> she turns around and says, oh, uh, I went the wrong way. Driver's license for revoked. Uh, it, yeah, right. <laughs> and I, I, got, I think I got you down too low, Mo. Too used to David over yeah. there. Yeah, that's right. I, I'm, so, I'm too used to David. No, David, it would be high. Oh, that's Graham. true. What's up, Double K? Double K in the house. Ken's in the house. Tori says, don't listen to him. You don't need that kind of negativity in your life. There's no boundaries when you're a that's mom. That's one of my kids that was in there with us. <laughs> negativity? Yeah. yeah. How is having no bound, having set boundaries negative? Right. How can you help your kids if you can't help yourself? That's right. Because you need to help your kids. Her... This is a question of perspective. Yeah. Now, like, and... I'll, I'll use it on a completely different level, and I understand, like, how some moms feel about this or whatnot, but I get into this argument with my wife all the time. I now, have an 18-month-old baby. Were you in a bathtub with a vibrating shower head or something like that? No, it's not a, It's not as nice oh, as okay. that. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I'll, I'll so grunt it up. If... My, my daughter cannot sleep anywhere but in my bed. <laughs> Right. And since she was a baby, up, I have pushed her. Like, you need to put her in her crib. You need to put her in her crib. And then she tells me, but she's crying. Yeah. Okay. She's upset. That's how she communicates. She's not happy about where she is. But is she safe? Mm -hmm. Is yeah. she okay? She is. Yeah. She needs to learn to cope with herself. She needs to learn how to be straight. So that's a, that's a much smaller level. Like, on your end of it, I get it. Like, I understand that you're an open door and you're there for your kids. But if you yourself... Or having a day where you're in pain or you get mental strain and you said, you know what? I'm going to soak in a bath and I'm going to do this for me. Before you take that bath, be like, I'm off limits for 30 minutes. Don't kill each other and go take your bath. Where's the, where's <laughs> the, where's, like, the, where's the harm in that? Where's like, how the, is that negative? Not, where's the commercial? Oh, Cow gone, take from, me away. Exactly. Where's that commercial? It's only negative to Tori because then. Shut up, Jason. Uh-oh, not, she's on not the air. Getting, <laughs> she's not getting what she wants. And that's what. Just like she, she got upset with her doctor because she was an adult right? and I came to her appointment with her and her doctor told her, she says, as nice as it is to see your mom again, it's time you start coming to these appointments on your own. And she's like, so she put on Facebook, she's like, can you, you believe my doctor me? told Can me? Can you <laughs> believe the nerve of this guy? <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. She right? was so upset. She's like, I... I shouldn't bring my mom. <laughs> like, uh, you're 20. How in the <laughs> cow? It's, it's time to fly. Yeah. Honey. Time for a new doctor. <laughs> or they'll call me from the ER. Did I have this? Have I had that? Like they're they're answering in their own medical history. I'm like, mm -hmm. um. Tori continues. She's not allowed to be off I, off limits. I need attention. Duh. Aww. <laughs> Aww. So needy. Well, you have needy girl. kids. You know that, right? I like oh, I do have yeah. needy kids. I mean, they're. Oh, yeah. They're, they're beyond needy. Well, actually, Tori is universal. That's your daughter, right? Yes. Okay, good. Because it's, it's a universal Adopted. name. I said girl. I was like, oh, wait, hold on. Adopted <laughs> twice removed. She's, she's, she's one of my girls. And, there you go. And yes, and my boys are mama's boys. Big mama boys. Have you ever, because I, I reached the point of adulting 
where sometimes I realize I'm too independent. So what? I'll, I'll, I'll go do something and involve my mother just to make sure that she knows, like, I need her. I still need her. Like, I, I need her. Like, I don't need her next to me. Right. But, like, I need her in my life. I need I need her support. But, like, I, I will create things. I'll be like, all right, mom, listen, I, I got to do a three-hour thing. Can you watch kids for me? You don't need her, then, like, in then, the shower with you, you or anything can, like that, right? <laughs> no, no, no. No shower. I, I've never even seen my mother in a nightgown. Oh. Like, like, oh, wow. That, that's, that's how good. We, we were raised. I saw my father in his boxers, but my mother, never. Right. Like, she was always in under the covers or anything like that for bedtime or, or whatever. Never saw her walking around in a nightie. Nothing like that. So, my, my mother is very... Do you see anything, like, off limits on that? Like, you know, like, for, for kids, and I guess certain ages, maybe certain different boundaries. But do you see anything where, like, okay, if you're around a five, six-year-old, you need to be... You at least have shorts on. Like, not boxes, but boxes and shorts. Or, you know, but when I they're think, a little bit older, it's like, hey, let's lounge around and... uh. And just the the tidy whities I I mean, like as like if you're with your son, like it's a little different. And I think like if you're if you're changing in front, like to change in front of your son, yeah. it's, it, it's cool to walk around the house like butt naked. That's uh, that's inappropriate. Okay, <laughs> but, okay. But like right. if, if you guys, I just, are, I just need to make sure that dressed. I can't turn to my I can't turn my house into a nudist colony. Apparently, so. <laughs> no, no. I mean, that's you gotta wait though. for them to grow and go. Right, <laughs> like grow and go. <laughs> wait, so. I was like now with um, that's a new saying because. Listen, it's just automatic. I, I didn't think anything of um, David and the teenage you didn't boys. Think much did. of David? Well, Is that I, I, I'll get to the rest. No, I don't think much of David. Bad. Yeah, He's I don't either. Right? <laughs> you know, it's all but about Dodge. <laughs> right. He gets ready for bed or whatever. He used to always wear pajama pants. I don't know what happened to that fad, but because I actually like that. But now he it was it's his boxers, so which is fine. But then there came a point where I mean you're. Your daughters are just getting older. So I told him, I said, look, I said, it's not anything unnatural, but it's time with Kelsey entering preteen years. You need to put your bo your basketball shorts on, too. And that's that's, and that's actually kinda where, where I was right. going to go with it. Like, yeah. Even my 18 month old daughter, if I have to take her in the shower with me, like I'm holding her the whole time. Yeah. And then, like, I hand her off to her mom when, when she's washed or whatever, whatnot. Like, I don't walk around or, or change in front of my daughter. I feel like that. I feel like there's there's the line. So where females, uh, where females I, and dads, you should you know, always cover up. I feel like you should. Like, wow. That's just my own personal. Like, I'm not shitting on anybody who does different. Right. But that's just how I feel about it. Gotcha. Just, I just know that I just know with well, she's my now third daughter, but I just know that there comes a point and and same thing with boys. Boys, they're they get curious, curious too. Absolutely. And I, I I know it's probably gonna sound weird, but it's on, already it's sounding all, weird. It's all natural, but they're gonna look. Because yes. they're going to compare your body to their body and mom's body to dad's body. It's just, they just do. So there just comes a point where there, it's like, okay, well, dad's got to put Absolutely. the basketball shorts on too. And, but I mean, when they were younger, it was different. Yeah. See, ever since, ever since Stefan came into our lives, I'm over here like, you know, I used to prance around in my underwear out here in my boxers. So it's like, nah, 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 nah. and now it's like Stefan's around. It's like. Oh, maybe I should put uh, maybe I should put some some of these comfortable shorts that I wouldn't wear out in public because they're probably got holes in them. But I'm just gonna wear them around just to you know an extra layer of clothing, right? You know, kind of like lounge around pants and stuff like that. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, that's that's how I feel now. I'm like wearing a shirt all the time. I think it's more of my insecurities. I don't want to look at myself and, and and see that big fat blob. I just need need something to cover up. David, with. David tells us he told us that because David's the same way. He rarely will you see him without a shirt. And, okay, no one will see him without a shirt. Rarely will I even see him without a shirt. You have pictures of him without a shirt. So that's that's BS. I do? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we all saw it. We saw him. I was scoping your profile today. See? Are you sure it was David? No, Davey. Oh, yeah, Davey. No, because oh. I'm getting there. I'm saying, David, you will not. Oh. So Davey was okay. telling David, hey, Dad, you, why do you always wear a shirt? Even You even go to bed, you're wearing a shirt. Yeah. He goes, it just makes me feel more comfortable. He goes, I'm proud of my man titties. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, good for him. That's and, awesome. That's right. Good for him. Yeah. <laughs> good for him. Next thing you know, he's going to be a trainee. He told me, he, t he tells everybody, he goes, Get I'm. There. He's getting there. <laughs> he goes, I'm. I I'm like my man titties. <laughs> He goes, I'm my mom's sexiest child. <laughs> <laughs> That's I don't know about that. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's what he claims. 
Listen, if he wants to go ahead, and, I'm too sexy for my well, shirt. I mean, I mean what is sexy the most for sexiest man part boobs. of a man? Usually, I mean, if you meet a woman who's not super superficial, right. it's confidence. That's true. So right. maybe that's what makes so him the sexiest. So he's definitely he's child. gained that. He has um, gained that. He's gained. Good that. for you, Davy. Good for you. He's sir. over there. He's over there playing Fortnite with a shirt off and rubbing his nips while he's going in playing Fortnite. That's, uh, now you went too far. I probably <laughs> did. He asked us today. Slow he's it like, down, Davy. Do you see my down. facial hair? And we're like clear what? across the yeah. other side of the room. And I'm like, you what? No, no. <laughs> he's like, look, it's coming in right here. I'm like, honey, that's still peach fuzz. You're like yeah. that's dirt. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said you got about that's three dirt. more years before me, anything's actually going to show. Let me get that for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't have any. Don't yet. break right his there, heart. No more. Don't Forget it. <laughs> that's going to just break his confidence. Oh, we yeah. don't want to do that. That's true. That's all it is. So I can be evil. That's true. Yeah, be evil. Be evil. It's okay. <laughs> Happy Hump Day, everybody. 813-699-5353. If you want to jump on the line, go ahead and say hey. Um, I want to say thanks to everybody that I met up in Georgia, That's uh, including the Just for Fun crew uh, that I had up there in um, during uh, wrestling, which, by the way, is a really good event. I think they need some finishing touches and stuff like that, but they actually put on a really good show. So I want to say uh, Southern Fried Championship Wrestling up there in Georgia. Uh Definitely thumbs up. I definitely would like to see another sh- uh, another event when I get the chance to get up there. Uh, shout out DJ Scotty and the, the Just for Fun radio crew, uh, which, by the way, you can hear on rawtalkonline.com uh, Monday through Friday, 730-ish uh, to 10 a.m. By the way, he did start his show on time when I got there. Nice. He did. 730, he clicked on, bam, it was it was on. Yeah, well, here I am. I completely forgot what time the show started, so I had my alarm set for 10 to 7. <laughs> Which is probably actually accurate there. After not being able to fall asleep till 2 in the morning. Yeah, well, yeah that's and your I'm fault. Like, what did you I do that day? Find it. You know what she couldn't did. Fall I was, I, no, yeah, I was going to fall asleep. I think we all know what happened there. Is, uh, Karen was basically too, too exhausted to take off uh, David's shirt and pants to go ahead and get... Get mm. some, so she passed out. Hey, listen, I'm not doing that work. <clears throat> yeah, that's he it. Can, if he wants it, he can do all the work. That's like that, ah, that's like putting the car on the that's like putting the car on the freaking toe and just uh, changing right. the oil. That's right. <laughs> Loop <Luke laughs> up. But I did. I and I'm like I'm scrolling and scrolling. And I'm going to everybody's page. I can't find the stupid thing, and I'm like, I shared it to and you. And then and then my phone froze on me. Like right in the middle, I'm I'm talking back and forth with them, and the phone freezes. I'm like, what in the world is going on? Yeah, Facebook's being um, you know, antsy, shitty. I mean, because I, I I watch his show from start to almost start to finish. I mean, I have to go to work at nine thirty, but I watch his show from start to finish. And there's got literally three or four times I have to go ahead and restart the page mm-hmm. because it just it, it drops. Right. And it's not him, and it's not my internet, but it's 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 just refreshing Facebook. Yeah, it's probably like their servers overloaded or some something to that. Nature. Yeah, sure. And your oven my door ass. chipped my nail, by the way. Well, that's okay. You messed up my ceiling fan in my room. I did not. <laughs> Why'd you do that? What? The ceiling fan's kind of old anyway. Fan. The ceiling fan. I just turned it. I was freezing. What? It's like a freaking igloo in there. No, it's oh, not. Lord. It's cold. So so sensitive. <laughs> I was so cold. I was like. You could have slept in Stefan's room. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, there you go. No, it's it's best you sleep in our room. It's fine. But yeah, it's fine. Now listen, I want to say thank you by the way for watching the dogs. Um, they were they, so they, sweet. They, they were barely alive, and we appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> like finally, they're home. Same, yeah, Save same, me. yeah, same thing with Stephanie. He was barely alive when we got him for my sister. So I want to thank my sister. Very but nice. uh, so beautiful up there. I mean, again, I've never been out of Florida in twenty over almost thirty years. Was it a nice change? <clears throat> it was, and, and, and you know what was fun too is we're traveling further north. And it's the morning, and it's like we see the sun come up, but we're seeing the temperature go down. Ew, I'm thinking, I yes, this is this. Is, I like this idea. Very nice. I like it. Nice well, we go ahead and see the temperature going down instead of going up. Nice. I like that. So, uh, so we got up there. We got into the hotel. Um, we actually got there in really good time. Um, got into the hotel, took a few minutes, and then headed to wrestling. Uh, wrestling, it was an outdoor event. Nobody wore a mask, but, mm. but there were sanitizing stations everywhere and people were, were pretty well social distanced. Um, the, the, the chairs were kind of, um, you know, spaced out pretty well. That's um, good, then. got to meet, got to meet a lot of people and, um, very happy that I got to meet them all. And, um, you know, it, a lot of memories were made there. So we appreciate that. Um, got back to the hotel. The, the problem is there was a couple of restaurants I wanted to try and never got a chance to because we just had no time. Yep. 
Mm. We had no time. We were on the road most of the time. Sunday, we went to Nashville. Or not Nashville, but Tennessee. <clears throat> um, and I'll tell you this. I did not plan on my ears popping during that trip. <laughs> I we, saw your video. I thought that altitude. was so funny. It, we went ring around the mountain. And I'm yep. like, and like, this, this, it doesn't seem like we're climbing that high. It's a real gradual climb. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, it's like, <clears throat> I'm getting some tightness in my ear. What's ah, motherfucker. I hate popping my ears. Oh, so I'm man. over here swearing at my wife. It's like, what the hell's going on? It's like, my ears. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine are popping too. It's like, well, you, you don't have a problem with them, gum. apparently. I did too. I did have chewing gum. Really? Yeah. And uh, you know what it was? It was just for the wrong reason. I just want my breath to be good. It had nothing to do with, you know, my ears popping on the way to Tennessee. Were you on the route where you enter Tennessee and then you're back in Georgia? I, I and don't then you're know. Back in Tennessee? Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. You know that area. Oh, yeah. I'm over here. It's like, oh, we're, we're entering Tennessee. And then five minutes later, we're, we're back in, in Georgia. Georgia. Whoa. And then and then the five minutes later, oh, we're back in Tennessee. Yeah, because you keep curving around the mountain. Then you're yeah, right, right back. And then you go around the next curve, you're back in Tennessee. Yeah. You yeah. That? Oh we'll, my God. we'll be coming yeah, around the here. mountain when we That's come. why, that, now you know why they wrote this song. <laughs> but the, here's it's the thing, It's beautiful though. through there, though. But the it river is, oh, my God, it is. I've been through there. I, yeah, I've been, I've been in Florida most of my life. Uh, I was born in Los Angeles, California, but we moved to Miami. I was so young, you might as well say I'm from Miami. Right. Yeah. And then uh, I, I spent a summer in Rhode Island to work because I was in the restaurant business. And I never really, I never really felt small until driving to Rhode Island. And it didn't really hit me until when we got to the Capitol. And then you start seeing all the government buildings mm -hmm. and everything so big. But then when I got to New York, I had a full-blown panic attack. I had to pull over at the transport station on the Jersey Turnpike was, right before I got to the George Washington Bridge. Is it that Ridge. bad? All of a sudden, it went from four lanes to ten. And right. there were oh. semis everywhere. <laughs> yeah. And everybody was going 30 over the speed limit. And I didn't know what to do. So I freaking, you like, need to go 30 over the speed limit and can't keep pace. I had got a ticket two hours before there. For going, he said I was cruising in the speeding lane, the passing lane. Oh, okay. And I, I said, what do you mean? I was like, there's nobody behind me or in front of me or even to the right of me. I'm yeah. just driving. Right. And you he's can't like, be in that lane. he's like, yeah, you can't, you can't be in that lane. They, I, said, I can't well, believe I they enforce that. that. And then he, and then he said, plus you're driving too slow. And I said, what do you mean? I was going 60. So I know you're driving too slow. The speed limit's 55 on the Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> I was going 60. <laughs> like, I didn't understand. Well, and, then, and then eventually he wrote me a ticket. I had a shoestring <laughs> necklace on my rear view mirror, just a shoestring necklace. It had a little uh, turtle charm that hung all the way down to the radio. He said it was impeding my vision. Oh, for God's sake. So that's my what he wrote God. to me for. So, yeah, it, I, it is so much smaller down here than up there. Like, well, like, you know I what? The, the same rules apply down here. It's just they don't want to force them. They're just really lazy. Yeah, it's I like see that. Just, just you know, whatever. Just stay in the left lane. Who cares? I love Atlanta. I love driving through Atlanta. I, I went yeah. ahead and passed through Atlanta in the morning, and then I passed through Atlanta at night. It is pretty at night. It I, is really I will, pretty I will admit. You didn't I, catch I, rush hour? Hurt no, you through Atlanta, no. Was well, traffic. I was, I was, I was going yeah. through, I was going through Atlanta on a Sunday. Oh, okay. So I, I didn't catch rush hour. Good. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't. Yeah, that would have so. sucked. <laughs> uh, I would have loved it. Yeah. Yeah, I heard, really I, I heard rush hour in Atlanta. Sucks. Well, I just like, I like driving through there. Yeah, I hate driving. I if if driving. I can just snap my fingers and be where I need to be, that's what I do. Which it's yeah. a good thing that I love driving because I do a lot of it. Beam me up. It's just one hair. I'm going to pull it out. That's what second. they need to make is the transporter. Why are we trying to go to Mars? We could transport to Mars. Uh, like, no. like, why don't no. we just do that? No. I wouldn't. What, well, okay, here we go. Here, here, no, here's the body. idea. Here, no, here's the idea. You go ahead. You get into the transport. You go to Mars. You die. That's it. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah, there we is you no don't know that. You don't know that. I, there I is no okay. atmosphere there. You're dead. I could, but you transport in like, like, a whole told. suit so that you can build it. You also transport all the utensils and you build the. Come on, man. Put some thought into it. Well, maybe I didn't think about it. Maybe that's the first. Maybe I'm the first casualty. That's probably why. <laughs> You're the example. Yeah. This is, I'm why the, we can't do this this. is what you don't do, everybody. <laughs> okay. Now let's go ahead and, and, and suit up. Nice. <laughs> I like it. Hey, They're advancing the in technology. Yeah, right. Advanced technology, my ass. Yeah, I, I mean, I, it would be nice, but I just don't think it can happen. <laughs> so many pictures my wife took, I haven't yet to upload them on Facebook. I mean, we saw 
cotton fields or by beyond mm-hmm. cotton fields on 75. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. We saw houses on, all the way up at the hills and we're thinking that's part. That's a horror movie plot right there. <laughs> <laughs> right on the edge of the mountain cliff. Right. So it's like it, if if there was anybody to walk out the front door, they're rolling mm-hmm. down the hill. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just that. No, and don't I use know, that door. What? Yeah, don't. <laughs> Bye. 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 Enjoy the trip. Yep. <laughs> That's great. Hey, Ma, he fell for it. Yeah. <laughs> <he> t- <laughs> yeah. Well, took care of cousin. (laughs) Want to welcome a new station, by the way, AOW Broadcast. Uh, You can find them on, well, let's see. You can find them somewhere. Hold on a second. I have their website, but now all of a sudden I lost it. Um, AOW Productions. Come on. Why can't this load faster? There we go. So it's... um, Loading, loading, loading. AOWnetwork.com. Go ahead and check it out. We're live Wednesdays and Fridays right there, 7 to 9. Um, so make sure you check them out. They have a lot of good shows over there. The, uh, the GF6 show, which we run here on Raw Talk as well. Chris's Renegade show they got. The Drive Home with Derek Stark. Uh, Thrash Zone with Heavy Metal. The Mike Radio show is on there as well. And, of course, Outlaw Radio with Billy. Uh, who owns that station. He uh, has his own show from 8 to whenever on Saturdays, also on Raw Talk Online. So AOWRadioNetwork.com. Make sure you tune in and show them some love. Show them some love. Very nice. (sighs) I know that's an actual song, but... Is it? Like and I do, I just can't remember it. Right, right, he was right, off key. right. I, maybe that's it. I was very <laughs> off key. All right, so Tori's listening. So torment her about her invitation or lack thereof. Yeah, Tori, what's going on here? Yeah, so let's put it this way. Here's what happens at a wedding, and I'm a wedding DJ, so I'm not really a wedding planner, but this is what normally happens. You would get engaged to the person you want to marry, right? Then you start planning the wedding. You get the event parlor. You get the cake, you get the reception hall, you get, uh, which could be the same thing, by the way, you get the ca- the caterers, um, the dress. The, the, yeah, the dress, the tuxes and all that. And then you get this thing called invitations. So these little cards with words on them. Well, sometimes there's cards with words on them. So what happens in this case is you take these invitations and you mail them to people that you would, get this, want to invite. And the mail does still exist. Yeah, mail does still exist. And make sure you put the little slip with the RSVP so you know if they're coming or not. Yep, yep. make sure you, you tuck in the slip. Exactly. So, and, and, and the card too. And then make sure there's a date that you're expecting it. <laughs> and, by. and an address. And also, in mm-hmm. an address. And also, if you're going to have fish or chicken, make sure you mark that as well. Please. If you have a buffet, then you yeah, don't have to worry about that. We'll eat is. everything anyway. Uh, especially, I'll probably show up uh, on top of that. We're serving barbecue. So, yeah, if if you're gonna only serve fish and chicken, forget it. I'm not showing up. I'm just gonna. You know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Those you. are two of my favorite choices. Fish and chicken are amazing. Yep. Well, no, no. See, the thing is, I don't want fish or chicken. I want both. So that, I, I can't fill out the invitation. I like. Well, be a, <laughs> I want bring both. A plus one. <laughs> bring a plus <laughs> one. <laughs> hey, this is my imaginary plus one over here. Yeah. Uh, it, it, Here's story. Bob. Toria <laughs> finally went ahead and said, "My invitations are being sent out in January." Dingleberry, I'm not mentally handicapped, you know. <laughs> and she says, "You know, Y A N N O, you know." <laughs> I mean, that is the redneckish way of saying, "You know, you know." Well, listen, and their RSVs. I'm so glad you said the RSVs too. The RSVs. Because they're giving n- no joke. Instead of this is our technology and our generations today. Instead of putting that slip in there for their RSV, there's a note to a link that you can go to to RSV that basically is a link to the wedding. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Nice. Yeah. No. I mean, I like the idea of no mail-in But not, mail-in everyone, thing. Is te- right. not everyone is tech savvy. Right. You know? And then she's like, well, most of them are going to be hand-delivered. And I'm like, yeah, but you still got to do the traditional yes. way. Yes. Doink. Because so. even. <laughs> I, and the worst part is I didn't even have her mic on. Imagine so it how doesn't that would... matter that no, I it, joined it, the mic. Oh, because... Apparently it does because it came through. Yeah, we it did was hear. so heavy. I'm surprised your mic still works. It, it wasn't that bad. It, it works bad. fine. 
Okay. Well, good. It I'm glad it works from fine. The ceiling. It 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 almost sounded like went it did. a couple of inches, just donk yeah. <laughs> onto the table. <laughs> so, It'll but clearly, me it. getting like people's okay uh, before you ever gave them an invitation. Well, you were supposed to tell them about the wedding. Okay, I did tell them about the wedding, but they still haven't gotten an invitation. No. And it's in March, so why would I ask them now? Can you RSVP now? No. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Like, no. And then also, why would you want anybody promoting your wedding anyways? The more people that come, the more it costs. Well, that see, is true. But and that's been a battle her and I have been in because I don't want that many people. She, right. And I'm a traditionalist oh, where like my parents, when I got married, my dad was a businessman. Oh, you better promote so it. So he then. had lots and lots of business. You better promote the shit out of it. For me. instance, uh, J- uh, DeBartlow that used to own the 49ers. Oh, really? He really? was on the that's invite that. list because. By the way, DeBartolo. Yes. That's because him. he. I still give you kudos. Yes. Yeah, same. Good job. And he actually, yeah, she actually knew that. I can't believe I that. I did. And oh. then his and son owned it. But my dad knew him from the time he was a, a toddler. He watched him grow up because my dad cleared the property for the first strip mall that ever went in in the nation, really? who was, uh, which was owned by him. So I told him, I, so I told my daughter, I said, look, you want our friends in the business world to come because those are the ones that they don't want to go gift shopping. They just want to stick money in the card. Yes. When you that's do, what I want. When you, you give the shot the right for, the, for the, yeah. the dance with the bride, mm-hmm. those are the people that are put in the 50s in the, in the, or the 20s even. Actually, we did have one 100 put in. The little, the little bin to take that five, not even a probably 20 second dance with you and take their shot. I said, you want those people there, you but know, then it's going to cost more because of per plate. Now I know exactly what the Catholic Church and all these other churches <laughs> do with the collection baskets. It's an easy <laughs> Please, please pay, pay me. Well, well, and that's what they're doing. Dollar right? dances, it's, too. It's still, even though they're doing it bu- <laughs> buffet style, right. it's catered, so they still charge you by, so you say 40 to 60 people right. is what this package will feed, and, right. then, and you go up from there. Yeah. So that's basically how she's doing it. But like his mom, it her fiance's mom, right. she's a manager for a doctor's office. Right. Mm. Yes, you want them on your invite list. It's Absolutely. Just like, oh, I just want to keep it. You know, no, you don't. No, you, there's reasons so, for going. So out. here, so here is how it goes. Here, here's how it goes. Here's the inv- how the invitation should go. A, are you coming? B, what's your occupation? <laughs> C, how much are you willing to donate? <laughs> D. Are you giving cash <laughs> or <Yes>. a gift? <laughs> cash or gift? C. All right, what the fuck do you want to eat? You can pay by card at the reception. <laughs> I, yes. I accept Don't cash at PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> like her, her aunts and uncles, uh, or yeah, her aunts and uncles. Well, they're great aunt, great aunts and great uncles. And I told wait a minute, wait, 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 hold on a second. Tori just said the guest list is finalized. I'm not on it then. Yes, you are. I'm not. Where am I? Where's my invitation? She doesn't. She's not sending them out till January. Wait, a minute. wait, 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 wait. Who How sends I... out invitations in January for a wedding that's in March? No, well, number one. Hold on a second. That's etiquette. It's two months. Number one. Their... Fine. We'll do that. Uh, we sent ours like six months. But wait a second. Like wait a second. Who yeah. finalizes the guest list if you don't know if they're fucking coming? Well, no, you you no, finalize, finalize the list of invites. how many of like who you're gonna invite. That's not a guest list. That's an invite list. Okay. <laughs> it's a guest list. No, it's, it's not. It's it an invite list. It's still a guest list, Whatever. but it's finalized for invite. Whatever. And then you females always gang up against me anyway. I'm, she'll be down I, there to the letter. What do you I'm say, Mo? I, I'm a man. I don't. I don't know anything about this stuff. You know. You know what I chose right. at my wedding? The DJ. That's it. Everything he else, chose I, the I DJ could care too. less. I could care less. I think the because only I thing... knew the DJ. That's why. Yeah. I'll, ne- I'll never forget. She would get mad at me because she she would show me. She would show me the invitation. Hey, we can do this, or we can do that, or we can do that. And I'm just looking at her like, what do I care? Who cares? What font? That's what Josh is on it. Like, yeah. I don't care. A or B. <laughs> a or B. We Josh, don't I fucking don't care. The same thing with him too. Like, there's two things I care about: open bar and the DJ better be kick ass. The That's only it. thing. That's all I care about. Honestly, the only thing that Josh has cared about is the um, cake. The cake tasting. I did tell her that he she wanted had to, to be in on that. I did tell her that the cake had to come from Publix. I don't care what, what kind of cake it was, but get it from Publix. Because Publi- every cake that I get from a baker or for someone who's like like a, a really like a gourmet uh, baker chef right. or whatever, whatnot, I never like it. 
I'm I not don't a cake get that. guy. Really? I know I'm a big really guy, good. but every time I have a Publix cake, it's amazing. I don't get that. Yeah, I don't like Publix cake. This Tori? Oh, I love Publix cake. Yes, cakes, it is. <laughs> what, what, what do you want? Oh, my. My mom, I need attention. Okay, well, call her on her phone. I need then. attention. We have boundaries. I won't answer her right now. <laughs> hold on, hold on a second, hold on okay. a second. Let, let, let's pause the show. Daughter and mommy time. Go ahead. Yes, Tori. Yeah, thank you. I need my attention. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. But, yes, you are invited. I just told her to tell you so you would Don't know. Shit. So that date is saved. Um, do you want me to read your messages? You because that's not what you said. You send out a save the date. <laughs> Yeah, see, that's what she's not doing well, is a save the date. That's more money, and I don't want to spend more money. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't do save the dates either, but we sent out our invitations a lot. That's early right. Earlier. That. It, well, she... Yeah. But her etiquette message, is 60 days. I don't know days. Thing, so Yeah, and me, mom so used to be a advanced, wedding planner. So, uh, oh going out and she in January. Who, I know who, who January. was the wedding planner? I was. I used to be a wedding planner. And I told I told her I said I can help with you with it. all the yep yeah, that's what she's doing. Uh, she's just for all the <laughs> for all the guys out there too, and, and this actually worked for me uh, when we were going over who we were inviting. She's like, well, who you're gonna invite? And I looked at her. I said, what does it matter? The only thing that's important is that you and I are there. Right. Oh, so yep, that not see? only got me points, brownie points, but I didn't have to do anything. It doesn't True. matter. <laughs> she drags Josh everywhere, and he's and she goes, so what do you think? He's Damn, like, really are you smart. happy? Then okay. <laughs> yeah, right. That's exactly what he says. Yeah. So is it gonna make you happy? Okay, you can do it. So Aww. literally, I have to push you, and I made Aww. him choose the cake. This is his first marriage. And it? what flavor is the cake? I forgot. <laughs> I know something with French vanilla. It's his only marriage because he's not getting out of it. What if he, the only way he's getting out of it is if he's in a casket. So. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> girl, I like it. <laughs> he he knew that when I got with him seven years ago. So he did. <laughs> Very nice. We warned him. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That's the same thing. Alyssa. Well, that's the same thing. Alyssa's family said. You know, you you want to make sure that you're you know what you're doing when you marry before you marry her. And this is like the day before the ma the wedding. <laughs> so, <laughs> are you sure this is what you want? You know, you want to hear you want to hear this story because I I Maybe. am divorced at my, oh, first, at my no. first wedding, which I was planning to be married and I would have stayed unhappy. I would have lived with her the rest of my life. She's the one who ended the marriage. But anyhow, Good. on my wedding day. As we approached the atrium to walk the aisle, her father pulled me aside, put his arm around me, and says, Maurice, I want to tell you something. I said, okay. And he pulls out his hand, so I pull my hand out because I think he's going to grab my – I feel like we're going to have a moment. And he puts his car keys in my hand. He says, you still got time, son. <laughs> 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 you still got time. No one would blame you. <laughs> I said, I'm doing it. Yeah. You probably would have took that as a, I need to get out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I should have. They if all someone warned that me. close told you. <laughs> and in the divorce, they lost her and kept me. Yep. So, That's happened. I mean, That's happened. It is what it is. <laughs> but good luck. Well, I would have hoped they would have, you know, warned me like seven years ago because almost eight so yeah, you're, you're you too know. invested now yeah, yeah that's it. A lot of you're screwed into it now that's it all that manpower all that all that work <laughs> how, has, has been Tori put into this project Tori? Tori 22 i'll be 22 in a couple so months. you've been with him you for seven years <laughs> no i just wonder yeah. if she was oh like my god you I have spent 35 percent of your life with this man so wait 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 mom couldn't mom couldn't answer how old she is no i said i was waiting to see <laughs> to if she go. was gonna lie about her age because i know her birthday is in december and she turns 23 yeah, so i right. wanted to see if she's gonna say she's no. 23 oh you were testing her no okay. no that wasn't well, no it. wonder she can't go to the doctor on her own you're still testing her <laughs> right jesus do you carry her id well, and social with you to the doctor on my own since i was like 19 okay Ooh. you have Ooh. not you have yes, not. I have. Girl fight. Girl, girl fight. Sorry, girl some fight, doctors girl maybe. Fight. I recall so having I recall having to leave a birthday party that Davy and Kelsey were invited to just so that I could come all the way back to Port Charlotte from Inglewood to take you to the eye doctor. Mm -hmm. And I believe you were nineteen okay. then. Tell him, Mama. That's right. I was seventeen, thank you. You were <laughs> not. Ooh. Ooh. Even at seventeen, I think yeah, still <laughs> You know, you, and who took you to who took you to the like, ER? Well, that's different, Mom. That's not I'm, different. I'm, 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 I'm hearing crickets. 
I'm not even I in the just, same house call. with her, and she'll say, I need to go to the hospital. Well, where the hell was Josh? Get the fucking ambulance. Hello? Call 911. What do I look like? Yeah. <laughs> Karen's transport service will take you where you need to exactly. go. Exactly. No. No. Millennials. <laughs> I, oh, God. They'll fight you over that. They are they are independent, but they they definitely they definitely are, are no no mama no no girls and no. mama boys. That's like saying a guy with a penis can dress up as a woman and tra- and, and as a trans. That's not the same. Independent is independent, or needy is needy. This one is needy, needy. because as she has oh, gone yeah, as I'm far. Definitely needy. No, and you I'm are. See, she's proud about it, but she has gone as far as inviting me over up, for dinner, and I and telling me that I couldn't sit. In a specific seat, which I thought was really rude. What the like, hell? Well, no, that's my seat. That's my favorite seat. I need you to sit over there. Sheldon? Yeah, right? <laughs> right? I did oh, no. Nothing. She, she had a plan. The plan was I sat there and I kept fidgeting because I'm looking. I can see the kitchen and there's dishes in the sink. <gasps> and I can see the dining room and it's all piled up. Don't feel bad, Tori. When my mom comes over, she just starts <laughs> cleaning. She doesn't no, even I, say hi to me. She planned it, though, because she knew if I saw it. And Ooh. I was trying to sit there, so she's like, I'll play video games with Toy. the kids because mom can't stand it. She doesn't like video games. She's not going to sit and watch it. What a player. So, there I was. So, her, so Josh walks in, and he closes the door real slow, and he looks at Tori, and he goes, what's going on? <laughs> and he she, knows. Goes, she goes, I told you what would happen. <laughs> and I looked see, at her, and I'm like, oh, you played me. That's great. I, Mo, I see Jerry Springer all over this. <laughs> Honest to God. This is, this, is it. this is like a three-part episode. I won't forget hey, the time we went to Disney. Like wait, 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 Tori, shut up, shut up, shut up. The time we went to Disney, my grandparents were watching the dogs, and yeah. my grandmother cleaned the house. Yeah. Oh, Fine. God. And, and then, then and, left a bucket of cleaning supplies. Yeah. Oh. Listen, that was just the b- biggest slap like, in the face. It's like, listen, okay, really? okay, fine. We're, we're not exactly really? the neatest people <laughs> in the planet, but whatever. Yeah, we're I, crying out loud. I had a surge. I had a surgery recently, and listen, I, I have a full time job. I have my own podcast. I, I've you've added me to your show, which thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, I have a lot going on. My wife has a full time job. Um, her mother was dying of cancer. Like we were busy people. And do I need to break we're, out the little violin or something? People, so. What we sacrifice is cleaning. Oh. So, because when I come home, I want to play with my kids and I want to right. do things. And then we got to go to grandma's house and we got to do stuff. When we come home at eight, we got to get them in bed now. I'm tired. I got to go to bed. Whatever. So, we sacrifice cleaning. So, I had surgery. So, I was going to be off for a little bit. And my mother stayed with me the first few days because I told my wife, don't take off of work. Like, we can't afford it. And my mother will stay to help me. And my one of my oldest sons stayed to help as well. Right. And my mother, every day, cleaned two or three things or whatever. The first day she cleaned like most of the house. So when she came home, my wife, she was upset. She was like, what is going on here? Why would you clean? And I, and I came out there all like hobbled and stuff. Like, why are you yelling? And, she, and she's like, your mother cleaned yell. the house. I was like, you're mad. Cause somebody cleaned right? the house. <laughs> Be happy. See, it's like, I got go to your too. room. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, but you, no, but you see what happens is me and, me and Alyssa, I think Alyssa more than me. We're really like anal about stuff. It's like when we clean stuff, we need to know where it goes, exactly how it goes, and we you. want need to be the ones to I know where it's going. Because if somebody else cleans up, they put shit where we probably don't want shit to be put. I get you. Yeah, I, I would I have been upset that. only with your situation. The only thing that would have upset me was leaving the cleaning supplies. Yeah, yeah. That, that really that, that, that was a poke. Like, that yeah, that was, like that was you a poke. need these. <laughs> That and you need that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I was like, I, I know how to clean I don't know my if house. I, I just upset, didn't though. do it before we left. Like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Somebody's still on the phone. Who's this? Oh, yeah, it's Tori. What did you say? Oh, she's still here? Yeah. I said, I, I don't know if I would have been upset for the cleaning supplies. Hey, that's free cleaning supplies. Well, <laughs> we, 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 I told you. Oh, on, man, honestly, great. honestly, we actually went ahead and said, you know what? Hey, it's free supplies eventually, but we kind of like what ticked off like, how dare you? Because that, yeah, that was that was definitely a poke. How that was a poke. Give me free stuff. See, yeah. this is also Don't the, you this dare is give also me free the stuff. child that I will give her food in Tupperware containers, and then I no, see them. Don't give me free food. I go shopping in your kitchen. Well, that too. Yourself. They do. They actually they know where my 
grocery bags are, and they will actually go through and shop when they come to visit. So Aww. basically, it's but like a Win Dixie over there. It really is, and she'll sure is. when she comes. Yeah, I actually she got a free chef out of it. All the well, <laughs> I will cook for her when I give her my Tupperware. I'm over there. I'm over there, and I I see them. They've been washed, and they're sitting on the drying rack. And I said, "Oh, great! My they're washed. So I'll just take these home." She goes, "No, no, no. no we don't want to do that. I still need those." <laughs> and I'm like, for, "Well, I use them for you know taking stuff to work." I'm like, but they're mine. <laughs> but you gave me food in there. Hey, Tori, a uh, hot for tip for you. <laughs> Every Black Friday. He has a hot tip for you. Two big pallets at really any store, Target, Walmart, anywhere. There'll be two huge pallets. You can buy 20 Tupperware containers for like $4. Every but Black these Friday. are the actual Tupperware. These are the real ones what? too. Yes, for four dollars, I have. You seen better them go keep on that sale tip. Every yeah, you better keep that tip in your pants. <laughs> we buy them every year it's because my, my, we throw barbecues it, and stuff like that, and we make food for. An I army. will be there. To, I see. I don't black shop. I don't food. Black Friday. You don't shop. black shop. I don't Black kind of Friday stuff. shop. <laughs> you just said you don't black shop. You better watch what you say nowadays. <laughs> Telling you. Right? Karen, that's going to get you in trouble. Yeah. The hell am I here with? Black <laughs> shop matters. You should see what walks that stage now. <laughs> <laughs> so definitely. Four I'm defi- bucks, 20 pieces of I will definitely be there. You too, Tori. Replace. No, replenish. It's not free. Those, you it's can not for- buy them and then I'll get them from you. Oh, so you oh. need to double Those rubber e- made ones usually aren't that expensive. You need you to double up on those. Get a good size set for pretty cheap. Yeah, well, well, if, 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 if most talking about adulting. if most talking about like a twenty piece set, they're gonna be like the the ones that we have. The, uh, the solid. Uh, the rubber made yeah. ones. That- I, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the ones that we hate to put the covers on. Those are those rubber made. No, those are not rubber made. No, I want those. Well, no, the ones that we have, it has like the snap on, like the things. Right. The snap I, I don't know. Yeah. I like I'll, I'll show you. They are, I like them too, but it's like they're, they're a pain mine, in the ass to cover. Mine's sometimes. pop right on. They yeah. just pop and pop and pop. Tupperware is just so damn expensive. It can't I mean, it really where? is. Huh? Where? Where? It's actual Tupperware. So, well, oh. Tupperware brand, yeah. Yes, Tupperware, Tupperware? Yeah. I don't own any Tupperware, Tupperware, unless well, it's now, hand-me-downs. Do they still have those? Do they still have Tupperware parties? <laughs> yes. They really do? I have a friend yeah. that sells Wait, that's it. a thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really? They still do I remember watching Nap- I remember watching Napoleon Dynamite and Rico Someone goes ahead and goes door-to-door with the big box of Tupperware. party, and I was like, eh, no. I'll pass. <laughs> Rico could have played se- for the Niners. She right. sent me this, her, the latest special, and it's $50. And For I, what? <sighs> A variety of different, Ooh. usually. Oh, get out of here. Oh, she hung up on us. Yeah. Um, I don't care. But <laughs> I, could, I went through it, and I'm like, okay, at the Dollar Tree, that would cost me 12 bucks. <laughs> like, it would. It would cost me 12 the bucks. Dollar and then if my daughter keeps dollar it, I don't shitty, care. Though. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. They about. are not. Well, she shitty. can't keep her Tupperware anyway. Why is she going to buy yeah, nice Tupperware? Exactly. Buy that cheap yeah, shit. Let right. them yeah. take it. Let yeah, them buy be- the Gladware, and you'll yeah. be good. Yeah, and then hide the real <laughs> shit. And that's what it is. It's either Ziploc or Gladware at Dollar Tree. My... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. My parents have actually started doing that because I, I don't keep the Tupperware to use it. I just forget to right. give it back. Yeah, yes. we still have it sitting next to your coffee pot, by the That's way. That's my grandparents. That's well, not still, my parents. But it don't, anyway, it don't so matter. my parents now will give us Gladware or the Ziploc or whatever yep. because yep. they know that it's not I probably back. won't remember it's, to bring it back. It's not coming back. <laughs> it's not coming back. Yeah. Eight one three six nine nine five three five three. We've gone through the full fucking hour. Nice. No break. Woo-hoo. We're gonna go ahead and take a break. Coming back, Karen's memes. And then we got a couple of uh, stops to get to here. Number one, it's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. We'll tell you why that's in the news. <laughs> no. uh, the Sanderson sisters are making a comeback. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Disneyland is oh, excuse me, Disney. Period. And Disneyland is actually looking to reopen soon. And really? I Disney. Is Disney is doing something about their old movies, which uh, mm. may piss people off. But you know what? It's mm. Disney. What do you care? Uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. It's the Charles Richardson Show. Stay where you are. The Charles Richardson Show will return after this. <laughs>
Consuming calories I love donuts Mac and cheese They say kale is antioxidants But I'm anti-leafy greens Hello Can you save me? I'm in callous fan extreme And about Netflix and Mickey D's When I was younger these jeans used to fit me now my booty's got them bursting at the seams there's more circumference to my gut and no gap between my thighs hella cravings for some fries how did one push up fanatic I know what you're gonna say I'll get addicted once I'm at it and I know you mean well but if you shout at me just one more time I might commence to snap and it's no secret that Zumba class is the last Thing on my mind Hello stationary boy That's not what my body's crying in motion no star and it's every point that I've done and this veggie Strike through your route soon. My scheme is 
distorted and I feel no shame. And we're back. 813-699-5353. Shout out to everybody that's on our affiliates. Thank you very much for, number one, having us on. And let's go ahead and shout them out right now. Uh, for Wednesday, today, we're live on Raw Talk Online. We're also live on Alien X Radio. We are on the Lime City Radio, Del Marva Talk Radio. We're on Rockin' Waves, Q Star FM. Nine Radio Ireland and today at AOWbroadcast.com. So thank you again for everybody tuning us live right here on the Charles Richardson Show. Yay. What? Whoop whoop. Now you can hear us all. Yeah, now you can hear <laughs> the, the mute buttons are a dangerous thing. That's all I can say. Very good. Well, helpful sometimes. Well, Definitely. I talk too much. So do I. <laughs> I think we all do. I think that's what's causing the problem here. It's like everybody just wants to keep talking. <laughs> talk, 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 Oh, yeah. Let's get to the memes. Let's get this over with. This one here. People with LED headlights. I'm super happy that you're able to see the hair on a raccoon's asshole from a mile away, but I can't see. <laughs> Shut him down. Yeah, you got to remember there's like a 30-second delay on the, the thing over there. I hate those lights, too. Yeah, they're yeah. a pain in the ass. Here's a guy sitting on the couch and a cat basically giving therapy. Wow, that sounds stressful. Have you tried pushing a bunch of shit off the table? <laughs> they're good at that. Yeah. It actually works. I would like to try it one time. Yeah. MD 2020 Red Grape Wine Bottle. We were warned many years ago that this was going to be a bad year. <laughs> wow. I have so many stories wow. about MD 2020. <laughs> Cisco. Uh, when I was young, I was scared of the dark. Now when I see my electricity bill, I'm scared of the lights. <laughs> uh, There's a cop and a lady argument. Cop says, what's in the bottle? Lady says, just some water. Cop says, ma'am, that's wine. Lady says, oh my God, Jesus did it again. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I like it. That's a totally me meme. That is a, that is a <laughs> meme. Jesus. <laughs> uh, this one here has got the directional... Um, a full of cobwebs, and it's like how a lot of you South Floridians turn signal indicators look. <laughs> They're never used. They're never used, you're right. I know I don't use mine. This one's a message. Jack him off, then rub it across his forehead and say, Simba. <laughs> <laughs> uh, prevent workplace injury. Make the new guy do it. Yep. Okay. Good. That helps. Yeah, it does. Anyone else use R.I.? Anyone? Okay. Does anyone else rip off the mask when they walk out of a store like they finished a disappointing surgery on Greg's Anatomy? Yes. Greg's Anatomy. Yes. Yes. Every store that I leave. I, I got to I gotta sanitize the hands first. That's just me. <laughs> that's on the way out. That's yeah, it. that's on the way out. Whatever. Yeah, walking out, I, you do that? I yeah. can say I, I've ripped it off pretty quick on my way out of work. Yeah. I feel like it's when you, <laughs> you come home day. for the day yeah, and you tear the bra off. Yeah, just not because I work in the grocery stores, so like, I'm, I, in order to work, walk into the establishment. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Even though the customer's done. Uh, this is a picture of a big ape and a bunch of people staring at it, and uh, the quote is, I guess my point is, there was Room for Jack on that door and Titanic Rose could have moved over so he didn't have to freeze to death. I'm glad somebody else said it. <laughs> yes. Right? Because, come on. Rose was being a little cunt. Selfish. She was. Yeah. Very selfish. Uh, what the hell is this? Is this a 9-gauge, 12-gauge shotgun? Like, literally with 12 bars? Anyway. There's only 9. Not only 9? Okay. Uh, officer says, uh, so he was breaking into your home and you shot him 9 times? No, officer, I just shot him once. Has nine barrels. It has nine barrels on the gun. You'll see it coming up there. That sounds like a gun. I need yep. That sounds like a heavy motherfucker. It's called a big ass gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I had Talk sex, my as little friend. <laughs> if I had sex as much as I got screwed, life would be awesome. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that should be a t-shirt. That should be a t-shirt. That's going on an over-the-top shirt. Fuck sexy. Can someone bring back intelligence? Amen. Yeah, I know, right. See, that, see, those are one of those memes that's not funny. It's just too real. And <laughs> it's that's never true. Yeah. yeah, that's just everybody's frustration right there. George Jefferson, black guy, and uh, Arnie from um, All in the Family, white guy, ch cheering glasses together. 
And the caption says, the good old days when we can make fun of each other without everyone getting their panties in a bunch. Yes. Very That's true. Right. Amen. This was just for you. <laughs> candy corn dressed in Trump. Make Halloween candy great again. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one proper yeah. way to eat candy corn. Yeah, throwing it away. Thank you. Aww. Parents. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Parents use this time okay, wisely. I like the candy corn parents. Parents use this time wisely. Tell your kids the elf on the shelf didn't survive the pandemic. You're welcome. <laughs> I saw one where the elf on the shelf was actually quarantined. Yes, they had to be quarantined for are, yep. for two weeks. <laughs> two weeks that That's doesn't have to move. <laughs> yeah, sick bastards. And that is your memes here for October the twenty first, twenty twenty. Brought to you by the uh, fantastic Karen. I am. I'm so using that too. If I if I happen to forget. What. The pan, uh, the, the, elf on the, the elf on the shelf. Oh yeah, yeah. he's yeah, quarantined. quarantined. Yeah, oh, he's, you're gonna use that move. He's dead. I'm gonna you. have to. He, he was the one he that I saw. Survive. He was in the mason jar with a little mask. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's creepy, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is oh, so kids creepy. Kids love it. Why? It it. Well, theirs actually shaved part of David's head one night. Which, by the way, we got to go ahead and talk about waxing David. We have to talk about waxing him, and we need to dye his mohawk. What do we want? What, color? Uh, what do we want to do first? We're voting. We have to vote on orange or green. It has to be green. See, I said that too. It has to and be. He's green. like, well, everybody's saying orange because of how. But Halloween. wait a second. Yeah, I'm thinking but if we get the Hulk. That's what well, I said. Well, that's true. Yeah, but I'm saying like we should do it orange for Halloween, then re dye green later. Well, or, or red and green for or Christmas. Or put some green on the orange. There's, you know, make it orange and green. Orange and green. Oh, Listen, make yeah, it the yeah. whole fucking rainbow. Let them taste the rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> if Takashi Six hair. Nine can do it, yeah, there's right. a bold can. spot we have to deal with too. Remember? No, oh, we can get we we can take <laughs> care of that with some black skin. paint. There's a little bit patch that's <laughs> barely little, got any hair there. It's got like, a little runway going on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Got you. It's real, just, yeah. It's you real. know what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, what's it, the white? Yeah, we're gonna need white paint, and it'll be like a crosswalk. We'll put, <laughs> we'll put the we'll do like a little crosswalk there between between the can, forest. Or we we can always just say it's low tide and that's uh, that, David sure. Island coming over the top. <laughs> yeah. <There you> go. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. What do you guys want to talk about first? Do we have the Sanderson sisters or the Great Pumpkin, uh, Charlie Brown? Okay, I don't know who the Sanderson sisters are. Hocus what? Pocus. What? You know who they are? Hocus Pocus. Oh, I didn't know that. Bette Why did Midler. I not know their name? Yeah, they, they were called the Sanderson. Sisters. <laughs> yeah. My God, I, I can't believe you. I, they're playing uh, throwback movies yeah. in yep. the theater now for $5. I took my wife on date night to watch Hocus Pocus in the theater. Just as good 20 years later. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's right. That. We had a mov- we do movie night um, once Hocus a week, Pocus and we did Hocus Pocus that's a couple right. weeks ago. Nice. Uh, we're not sure who lit the black flame candle again, uh, but we're certainly not mad about it. The Sanderson sisters who came to fame in the 1993 Halloween comedy Hocus Pocus will be returning mm-hmm. for one night next week. Um, fans can see a sneak peek of Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Kathy Najimy. 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 Who will be reprising their roles as Winifred, Sarah, and Mary Sanderson in a fun snapshot Midler shared on uh, Instagram over the weekend. Um, the Midler wrote on her t- um, Instagram, says, your, favorite, your three favorite witches uh, are returning for one night on 1030, which is October 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, in search of the Sanderson sisters, is the best thing to happen to Halloween since Hocus Pocus and Reese's Pieces. Um, so, yeah, take a look at that. Uh, they're actually returning one night only. It's a one-night stand for the three sisters. So is they're going to gangbang you. Is it going to be on Disney Plus? I did, it doesn't even say when it's going to be on. It should be on mm. Disney Plus. Yeah. Because that's a, that's a Disney thing. So, but um, I love Bette Midler. They did put in there. Mm-hmm. Well, she's the, great. Yeah. I, it doesn't say. Uh, oh, wait. Hang on a second. The one-hour union special starring the fictional siblings of uh, as part of the Halloween, a Halloween ritual fundraising event that benefits the New York Rest- Restoration Project, um, which is founded by Midler. To watch the broadcast, online tickets are being sold for 10 bucks. Viewers can expect to see the likes of Glenn Close, yeah. Billy Crystal, Jamie Lee Curtis, Samantha Diaz, Todd Call, Jennifer Hudson, and many more. Um, it will air uh, on the 30th. You can buy tickets here. So you actually have to go ahead and actually watch it. It's only online. Oh. So it's cheaper to watch it at the theater. So, yeah. It's, well, t- technically, yeah. But it's, a, it's, it's actually going to a good cause, apparently. Yeah. Nice. So uh, October 30th, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, you get the, uh, the one-night stand with Bette Midler. This is a one-time show, and the show will not broadcast again after the listed date and time. So good luck. Very nice. I'll actually go ahead and share that on Facebook. 
Now, there's a, a couple of fun facts I actually heard about the movie Hocus Pocus. Um, being that the the character Max, the one who lit the virgin that lit the black candle, yeah, what was about actually that loser? supposed to be played by Leonardo DiCaprio. And oh. The reason he turned it down was because he was contracted to do Gilbert Grape. Yeah. So I, the, how'd that work out for him? Oh, that made it worked out well. It was a great movie. <laughs> but a Hocus Pocus, like it, it's, I think it's a little more, it's a, it's, it's just as he iconic was, as Gilbert Great, just in a different genre. Right. Yeah. But he was a lot younger. Oh, he was a lot mm-hmm. younger. Than the guy who ended mm. up playing the... Yeah, they got all... I think, yeah. I think the guy that played Max was actually in his 20s when he played Max. And he was, yeah. But the character he was playing was a 14-year-old boy. Yeah. So Leonardo DiCaprio would have seen. You know, he looked like a li- yeah. He looked like he did on Growing Pains, <laughs> like for a lot of years. So till he grew the stash because he couldn't grow the full the full beard mm-hmm. yet. Yeah. And then uh, another fun fact: Sarah Jessica Parker actually descends from a witch who was burned at the stake in Salem, and that's why she wanted to do the movie. I I did hear about that. Mm-hmm. I think that was on the pop up one on. Uh... Freeform. Which, by the way, I can't stand. I can't stand they watching a movie and you see these fucking like pop ups. Pop up video with like VH1. With, um, oh, okay, yeah, I, I with know what you're talking Halloween about. With Hocus movies. Pocus, yeah. No, well, it's not just Hocus Pocus, but oh, they do, done they all do their a movies. bunch of different ones. But Little like fun they did, facts yeah. pop out in the movie. Like they yeah, did it with Ghostbusters, the, the too. The one uh, about Sarah, Sarah Jessica Parker was actually I can't on there. stand Sarah Jessica Parker. And then uh, originally, Hocus Pocus was supposed to be titled Halloween Town. Yeah, which there already is a Halloween town. Right, I like it better. Hocus Pocus. And the the scene where Bette Midler sings "I Put a Spell on You" mm-hmm. that actually was not written in the script. She, um, she ad libbed it, and they loved it, and they kept yeah. it. Nice. Does it sound like we got our own pop up guy over here? <laughs> I, I love Mo movies. The yeah, I love yeah. movies. Mo the pop up. See, I like interesting facts. It, yeah, those those are interesting facts. Very interesting. Yeah, I, I I think I'm pretty wealthy in knowledge. That doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be great at there bar trivia. Right? Yeah. I, I have bar trivia. trivia. I like trivia. It's fun. The It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, will like not air on TV this year. That's a bunch of Boo. Right. For what? The, for the first year since 1966, the Halloween classic will not air why is charlie brown racist like Pretty whose much. feeling did that hurt probably get out of here poor charlie brown can't win just ever so this time fans will all cry in unison i gotta rock uh instead this year and probably for many years to come the show will air only on apple tv plus which is a pay service available only through subscription Ugh. well App- yeah, i know well apple will will offer free trials before halloween if you sign up for the service the uh, Charlie Brown special will be available to anyone to watch absolutely free on October 30th through November 1st. Uh, you have to click on to go ahead and subscribe, though. But it's been They're aired gonna on... They're going to take away C- Rudolph, too? <laughs> that was Not my yet. question. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Christmas is next out. Yep. Mm-hmm. No. CBS and ABC have aired the special every year since 1966. Or what's the one with the elf with the dentist? I know they're going to cut that one. That's Frosty Rudolph. the Snow. Is that, no, is that Rudolph? Rudolph? I thought oh, it was Frosty the no, Snowman. No. Oh, man. That little elf, man. Hermie. All he wanted to do was work on teeth. I know. Yeah. You know? I want to be a dentist. I don't know. Those claymation ones, I didn't really get into. Oh, what? what? So I'll be I honest love with you. Those. What about those the. Did you ever watch the story of the Chris King- Kringle when he was fighting the Mogwas and all that? Kind of, I love that one. That's where Santa Claus. The only Mogwas really I know about is Santa the Gremlins movie. That's my, my Mag- Mag- I think it's Mag- Magwise. What they were called, but it is Chris. Chris Crinkle. Uh, he Crinkle? was raised by the el- the the elves, and then he wanted to bring toys to the town, and it was a German town, and he'd bring the oh, toys. Oh no! And the it was the 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 guy that was the it was the Burgermeister was the the like the, the head Burger- of the yes, yeah yes yeah that's I love that one. one yeah I love that movie it's so good I, I feel like we need one. to do like some you know Christmas and Christmas uh, I movie think trivia. It's, um, oh, Santa Claus is coming to town. Is the one that, that we're talking yes, about. Yes, yes. Santa Claus exactly is coming to yeah. town. And then he, that's how he starts like hiding the presents in the stockings and because going in through the right. like it tells like all of like the reasons that he di- does what he does and, mm-hmm. and everything. And I thought, I always thought that was cool. I like how the Burgermeister finally his heart melted when he got it. You brought me a toy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bought you a burger. For everybody. <laughs> yeah. He was Oprah before Oprah. I, just, I hate that right. they're crushing classics. It's, it's sad. They are. It's bad. Disney is actually, um, I think they're giving into terrorist uh, terror, terrorism right now. Disney is adding disclaimers about racist stereotypes in some old movies. 
Oh, mm-hmm. So, um, they said the company said, "Well, it can change the past. We can acknowledge it, learn from it, and move forward together." Um, the program. So basically, going forward, you're going to see this program includes negative de- depictions and/or mistreatments of people or cultures. These stereotypes are were wrong then and are wrong now. Rather than removing the con- this content, we want to acknowledge its harmful impact, learn from it, and spark conversation to create more inclusive future together. Um, the movies that will now start with that disclaimer are The Aristocrats, Dumbo, Peter Pan, and Swiss Family Robinson. Uh, in, addition to those older, in addition to the older films, it also included the start of Aladdin, which was uh, the animated blockbuster in 92. The new statement is more strongly worded than one Disney tacked on to some films when Disney Plus first rolled out in the year at the time. It simply noted this program is presented as originally created and may contain outdated cultural de- de- depictions, which I think is fine. Well, What's wrong with that? You know what, though? At least they're just putting a disclaimer at the beginning and they're not cutting scenes. Yeah, that's I agree true. with that. And I think that, that that's a wise thing to do. But I still think they, they, they're going too far. It still puts, <clears throat> even if someone reads that, disclaimer and knew nothing about it or even saw it that way now you've planted the seed and that's, so when they're watching it they're going to automatically oh that's now the I thing see is it. that race racism and hate is taught yes it is not just that's absorbed right. and like i got into this this argument because i'm cuban i'm cuban american and a uh, majority of the people that work in the field that i work are white and a lot of people would approach me and want my opinion about something. And I'd always hit them with it. Why? Because I'm Cuban. You right. Know, you want to know what I think <laughs> or whatever, whatnot. And I got into this really cool debate about culture. And they were saying how, you know, black has a history month. And then, and then Hispanics have a history month. A lot of people don't know that we have our own history month, but it actually bleeds into two months. It's, it starts September 15th to October 15th. And that's when you're supposed to learn about Hispanic culture yeah. and things like that. And we got into this argument where he's talking about, well, my culture is this and, and, you know, his culture is that. And I look at this, this, that's all bullshit. Like, I understand that you got to know where you came from to know where you're going. Right. But all because I came from Cuba, I have a Cuban culture and whatever one up. But my neighbor came from Puerto Rico. He has a Puerto Rican culture. We have vibe. We party. That's what makes us great is because I can live next to the Puerto Rican. The Dominican lives over here. And we can all party together and live together. This is our culture. This yes. is American culture. This is culture. our country. Right. This is our country. So, like, the whole point is you're going to put a disclaimer. This is uh, putting stereotypical or whatever. Now it's admitting that you did something wrong and you're planting the seed in somebody who has no idea about any of these issues because the only w- way you'll know about racism or anything like that is if you pay attention to the news or you've endured it in some kind of way. I didn't know anything about racism until I was 20 years old and I moved to Panama City. You know, I knew nothing of racism. You know something? It, it's like we can't go ahead and take away the history about the uh, the slaves or anything of that nature of, about previous races. It happened. It, we learned it, it's, from it. We moved on. Yeah, so it's like did Disney now doing this and with other people, with other uh, uh, movies, they're 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 like like Alyssa said, they're cutting scenes and stuff like that, and and just like now Disney is saying, well, you know what, this that th- this is uh this is wrong. I don't see the reason to make the change. I mean, I guess maybe to say, okay, listen, we messed up, but I I honestly think it should have been just like portrayed like, listen, this contains negative depictions about different different races yeah. and cultures. Please, t- please watch wisely or something like that. It's and like then the the thing about Aladdin is not even really about culture um, or history or anything like that. It's more of folklore, and that base right. that folklore was based upon that region. And honestly, Aladdin was one of the better Disney movies uh, coming up with a better message because before that, a princess always needed the help of a prince. Every mm-hmm. time, Aladdin was one of the very first Disney movies where the woman didn't need anybody. Right. So like it, it has a lot of strong messages in it. Uh, how friendship is more than than wealth. Uh, there's so many good messages from the movie Aladdin. Like, why are you even thinking? Oh, this is a Middle Eastern movie. Like, there's, that never even come uh, to mind. No, yeah, that never, it doesn't even happen. You to be honest I mean? with you, when I first saw the movie, I'm like, I'm not thinking Middle Eastern. I'm thinking, oh, they're in the desert. They're in Egypt or something or like Egypt, that. Yeah, I'm not, yes. or, or, that's what I'm thinking here. I didn't think like any Middle Eastern. I'm over here. This guy's fucking funny. He's over here. He's the, fucking making Julianne friends on a freaking uh, a, a lamp. It's like, oh. Yeah, that's great, and but it's like, you don't think about that when you're a kid. No. And 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 honestly, unless you have parents that are just like 
bogging that shit down your throat. It's like you don't really watch it. You're watching it for the entertainment. It's just that's, that's all it is. That's why our even our instructional reading books, our pre-K and kindergarten, first grade kinder, books. I mean, you don't see Dick and Jane anymore. No, because Dick goes in Jane. Well, those are not politically yes, correct. It does. And uh, <laughs> you, a cat. I mean, how many how many Disney books did we have where they refer to him as the pussy cat? You can't say yeah, that anymore. Can't say that no yeah. more. And I just, and no, the kid you're reading to that's you know three, four, five years old. They are not thinking anything about that word whatsoever. It's just these parents or adults that want to sit there and say, oh, no, you can't say that word. Or no, you can't see mm -hmm. this. No, that has nothing see, to do I, with I it. I grew up in Miami. I went to school with Middle Eastern kids, Hispanic kids, black kids, white kids. Yep. We were all together. Nothing ever mattered. There was no racist fights or anything like that. We had other problems, like, right. like everywhere else. You know what I mean? But Just it was never about race. With that. Exactly. You know, like I don't, I don't understand it. So, the, <laughs> when I moved to Panama City, that's when I found out racism was real. Yeah, it was crazy. Eight one three six nine nine five three five three. Have a topic, or, or if you have a uh, any type of uh, opinion on anything that we're talking about, please go ahead and, and share. We want uh, everybody's to. Um, Get their feelings known. You know, get. Wait, listen. We care about your feelings. We really <laughs> do, man. Please tell us about it. Why not? Don't forget too. On uh, the thirtieth of October, even though Bet Mittler is going to have their thing on uh, Hocus Pocus, we got our own thing going on. It is uh, the uh, the Charles Richardson Show Halloween con uh, costume contest. Ooh, that's right. We, we got have that. Ours. We got that going on. We got our costumes all ready. And I don't know about you guys, but we got them all ready. And uh, you can go ahead and submit your photo if you want to go ahead and uh, be in the contest. Just go to Raw Talk Online at Yahoo.com. Submit your photo of your costume that you're going to be in. And uh, we'll have our prizes for the best one. We'll vote on them. Nice. That's we have right. ours picked out. We don't have it. You don't have it, but you have yours picked out. Well, you better get uh, on. I Halloween's picked them out. right around the corner. That's right. Let's put it that way. Well, I have to make them. Before Need you know, more days. You have to make them. I know. I, I wasn't going to go that route because, uh, of course, I usually don't. Man, you're but fast. But I decided I'm going to make well, them this year. Hey, Mo, you're part of this, too. You got your, your costume picked out. You can't dress as a Cuban, by the way. Why? I'm just saying. So <laughs> if, if I came in all black and boots and a cowboy hat, can I be Johnny Cash? You can be whatever the hell you want. I don't care. I'll be Johnny Cash. I have all that yeah. stuff. I don't need to buy anything. You come as a, <laughs> you come as a Cuban, though. You bring in a sandwich. Oh, I can do that, too. That's right. Oh, yeah. We I can bring a that. sandwich if I can dress in a guayabera yeah. and I'll have a tobacco. You know? I should have be been allowed to come as a Karen. You're going to have to do your hair do like a, a lot, Karen. Yeah, we're talking about the, full the Karen. The Karen hair. Not just like a half a Karen. I like used to have the Karen, Karen hair. There was the time. You better do your hair. Like is there hair. is there is there really a stero uh, stereotypical yes, Karen? Yes, there is. Oh yeah, there is. There are levels of Karen. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. no, well, levels. But I'm talking about like, is there one, a one that's widely known? Yeah, there's look. A look. Level yeah, hundred look. Karen. That's what I want. Okay. John and Kate plus eight. You know who I'm talking about? No. Oh my John God. She's and a Karen. Kate. Yeah, she's a Karen. I, I was <laughs> gonna say, like if you knew Karen. who John and Kate were, you would lose your man card. <laughs> I've heard oh, the names. Really? I don't know who they are. Really? I used to watch, watch oh, them. He I heard of Luke and Laura. Queer. Luke John and, and Kate plus what, what, eight. What did you want to know if I watched? No, oh, I said David that, watched it, and I said, never mind, that doesn't count because he's three-quarter queer. Exactly. Anyway, <laughs> he's three -quarter four. Queer. That's the other she's quarter. She's a Karen. Yeah, who? She, Kate. Kate? Kate? Apparently she's Kate is like a Karen. She's like the definition of a Karen. Ended up divorcing him after having all those kids. She's a cute Karen, though. Eh. I didn't say pretty. Yeah. Cute. She's a lot of cosmetic she, surgery. Yeah. Cute. Hey, well, you can touch it. It's real. And now and she's there's with a the, lot of drama. No, nah, she's not real. I, I, <laughs> you don't want to be in. You don't want to be with that Karen. We're talking about a Karen here. It's going to be drama. Do you not oh, see on true. Facebook? Yeah, that's true too. I mean, she already comes with drama anyway, and it's. And that's I, I actually she's ran also into got a Karen kids. today yeah. at <laughs> Publix. I'm wearing. A red Coca-Cola shirt. I'm in a Publix. What do Publix people wear? They wear green shirts. This, right. This Karen walks over to me. She goes, why are you out of seltzer water? And I looked at her. I said, well, ma'am, I work for Coca-Cola. We do not vend seltzer water. Yep. Is there something I can help you with? And she's like, well, you don't have seltzer water anywhere. I was like, well, 
why don't you go find a public associate? Maybe they can let you know when it's going to... And before I could even finish, I was like, I'm so furious with you. I was like, okay. Okay, bye. Now, I'm going to go back to my job. Bye, you go Karen. back to... <laughs> bye, Karen. Put, put the phone on my ear. Oh, Got to go. And <laughs> just kept yep. going. I was like, all right, we're done. Somebody talk to me now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's over here. 9-1-1. Get me out of here. I need you. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, oh, so God. is uh, does Coca-Cola... Yeah, Coca-Cola actually went ahead and uh, does tab soda. Have you ever delivered tab soda? I do. We won't be doing it anymore. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So tab is at the end of the road. It has gone bye-bye. Bye-bye, uh, Has tab. anybody remember tab soda? From the I, 60s. I do. Mm -hmm. And didn't they also do that um, com that commercial with the girl in the swimsuit? Yeah, it was it was like a supermodel soda. Right. Like if you right. wanted to That's... look like a supermodel, you Yeah, it was tab. supposed to be the, t the diet drink. It was drink. a calorie-free soda, mm -hmm. supposedly. But it's filled with asphetamine, uh, yes. which counts as calories. Mm. So. I've never tasted it. 50 it years ago, it was America's favorite diet soda marked with many catchy jingles, 16 ounces and just one calorie. So what was the calorie again? Are they lying to us? Did you say 60 ounces 16, for one calorie? 16 ounces oh, is one calorie? and just one calorie. They're lying to you. I yeah, because well, FDA lets you, if you're six, six calories or under, mm -hmm. they let you not have to disclose all the calories in it. Wow. Yeah. wow. And there's a scale for it for how many they actually put on the bottle. No yeah. kidding. I didn't know that. So anybody that's got a tab can or, or anything like that, hold on to it because guess Do what? Do not open it. It's going to be worth a few extra cents. It's going retro. It's going it? retro. Tab Cola. Officially heard from Mo because he <laughs> works for Coca-Cola. You know, definitely the Coke. Um, it, tab is gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> All kinds of coke. I mean, All kinds of coke. <laughs> cherry coke. I had, to, I had to make sure everybody knew what I was talking about. <laughs> oh no, you're good. You got the cherry. Wait, wait, you, wait. You got the so wink, wink coke, on that. Co coke comes in cherry now. Yeah, That's gonna be know. interesting to sniff. Cherry coke. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's kind of tart on the back end. So yeah. Oh, you know. okay. I'll, I I got that in mind. Oh, they yeah. don't put that in it anymore. No. <laughs> That's why they're they number did. two now. <laughs> Who can tell me who Michael C. Hall is? Um, he's an actor. He played Dexter. Good. Mm -hmm. Ding. Or oh, actually. On the cartoon? <gasps> I'm, no. no, no. Dexter, the Dexter. show, the serial killer that worked for Miami Police Department. He was also oh, in Six no Feet idea. Under. He played yeah. Macbeth and, and Broadway. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, he played Dexter. He's playing Dexter. He's going to return as the serial killer Dexter Morgan for a 10-episode limited series on Showtime. And that was announced on Wednesday, uh, last Wednesday. He'll be well, reunited once again with showrunner Clyde Phillips, mm. who will helm the new project. Mm. Filming is expected to begin early 2021 with Showtime Eye and a potential premiere in the fall. Have you watched Dexter? Yes, I She have. has. It was a great show. I love that show. Till the end. But yeah, the <laughs> ending sucked. Till the end. And then it's it somebody. The awful. ending was a cliffhanger. Somebody are, not really, though. We mean not really. It's, this is the thing. Uh oh. The, the reason thing. you accepted Dexter as a hero was because he killed killers and he kept it to a code. And he held his impulses below his higher power. He had a higher power. It was it was a it, it's it's something that's unthinkable because sociopaths don't have higher powers. They don't have feelings, they don't have any of that. If Dexter showed you anything in the show, the man is full of feelings. He's just full of emotion. And then when he drives out, because if you haven't watched it yet, you're not going to, so I don't care if it spoils it. <laughs> <laughs> so he drives out Fuck you, everybody. into a hurricane, yeah. holding the body of his Fuck dead sister. You. He let her die. He feels responsible. And he, he let his, his son go with his girlfriend so that he can have a normal life. And he just rides his boat into this hurricane. He's going to go out in the blaze of glory. And then all of a sudden, the hurricane's gone. They found the boat. They found Deb. They didn't find him. And then it cuts to like Virginia and he's in a lumber yard and you see that it's Dexter and he's there. He has a full beard now mm -hmm. and he goes to his house in the woods and he sits down at his table by himself and he just looks at the camera and it shuts off. So you're telling me that I watched this show for eight seasons and he's just a regular serial killer. Like that's <laughs> like, like that's how that's how I felt. Everything Lame. he did was to cover yeah. his ass. That's Boring. all he did. It was all selfish. It was nothing. Any, everything he did the last eight seasons was terrible. And that show from beginning to the right before the last episode was amazing. And then oh, that yeah, last get episode really good. happened. 
So, so you get maybe nothing. Maybe they listen to the fans and they're like, we're going to redeem ourselves. And well, he also started I, I, directing we'll it the a last A lot of seasons. people were really pissed off about oh, yeah. that ending. Me, one of them. Yeah, I was too. <laughs> I bitched about it like four weeks in a row on my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because um, I don't. We started watching it when it was on CBS during the writer's strike. Oh, okay. So it was edited. Mm. And so we watched the first two seasons and they were all edited and we're like, all right, this is a good show. Then we watched it on Showtime and we're like, oh, now this, this, this is a really this is good the show. Way it's supposed yeah, to be. A great show here. So we had to go back and rewatch the first two mm. seasons so that we knew Absolutely. Like, everything that and was the going fir- on. And the first two seasons set the tone. Yeah. And then halfway through all the seasons and season four, that ending. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like you felt it. There was only one season that ended at one show that ended worse than Dexter, and that was Game of Thrones. I Never didn't watch that, that one. one. What? I haven't seen Game of Thrones. Good for you guys because you didn't get fucked. Because <laughs> 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 that's exactly what happened. They just a big. Fuck I feel. I feel. Fans. I feel bad for the people that watch The Sopranos the way that ended. I didn't yeah, watch I The Sopranos, Bob. Like, they, it just all of a sudden, it clips off in the middle of a fucking sentence. Fade to black. Yeah, it didn't, I didn't even fade. I didn't even see. I didn't see the last season, but Sopranos was one of my favorite shows. Jeez. I was so in love with him. Yeah. James Gandolfini is and so then he powerful. Dies. If you like, watch some of the movies, because he was in a lot of movies, never as like a leading part. Sopranos was kind of like his big thing. Right. Every other thing he's been in has been in like a just a guy's in the movie, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Every time he's on screen. He just takes over the scene. Like he's just so he made powerful. Sopranos feel like you were watching home movies. Yes, it was very, very realistic. I, I liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. I don't know if it happened to you, but did watching the Sopranos? Did you feel like you had to smoke the whole time? So I felt like I <laughs> oh, had to no, smoke. Oh no, I've the whole never time. smoked that. <laughs> oh, yes. I was smoking a cigar the whole time watching the show. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Tony. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> Eight one three six nine nine five three five three. Going to take our final break. Um, coming back, I think we should have uh, good news ready to go. We will. Going to go ahead and close out the show. <laughs> so glad to be back home. And then we're going to go to sleep. Confident. Home sweet home. Yep. Going to go back to sleep after this shit. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Off to grab a beer. We'll be right That's back scary. after this.
Are you suffering from exhaustion, sleep deprivation, headaches? Is your hair thinning? Do you ever wonder to yourself, what happened? Then you might be suffering from parenting. Parenting affects 10 out of 10 mothers and fathers around the world and can lead to extreme debt and loss of self-identity. You may need a fucking break. A fucking break lets you step away from it all. Results of a fucking break may vary. Side effects include a sigh of relief, decrease in blood pressure, and hanging with the boys. Do not take a fucking break if there's no one watching your kids, and if you've taken one in the last 24 hours. Talk to your spouse before you take a fucking break. Parenting is not easy. Take a fucking break. We're back. Don't forget to go ahead and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and all this other uh, fun social media uh, fonts. Just go ahead and search our show, The Charles Richardson Show. Uh, share us, love us, like us, uh, tell people why you would want to bang us, and um, all that good jazz right here on the show. Uh, good. Yeah, all right. It, it, it's a, it, it does a body good. Mm. Want to go ahead and show this video. I already showed it to the crew over here. This, um, <laughs> this one here is kind of funny. I actually uh, enjoy it very much, by the way. This guy basically takes a mop bucket, dumps the water out, gets his ass in it, gets a leaf blower and an umbrella, and off he goes. He's driving up and down Clearwater. This is in Clearwater, Florida, by the way. Down the sidewalk, he's just freaking... And we're over here like, you know, this is going to hurt your back. Because number one, he has to keep his feet up, and it's like, that takes effort to do. You see his hands shaking while he's moving. Don't seem to bother him much, though. He's going, man. <laughs> I wonder if that umbrella actually breaks or anything like that. That's probably his. That's his thing. Lifeguard station and and you know this is recent too because the lifeguards are wearing a mask. Uh huh. So there you go. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. I mean, he's not a bad-looking little guy, guy either. He looks huh. like a broke Sam Elliott. <laughs> there you go. A broke Sam Elliott. Oh there you go. Oh, my gosh. Speaking of Sam Elliott. Uh -oh. it, Elliott. So what about he's Sam Elliott? backing Biden. Ooh. He just did a commercial. No. Oh. Yes. No. I'm so disappointed. Sam Elliott? Yes. The rant Sam Elliott? Yes. Hardcore Republican Sam Elliott? Yes. I wonder if it's just a paid thing because they wanted his voice. He must have needed some money. Uh, yeah. Or no he owed shit. a favor. Or he, or he has a secret. That is, oh my He's god! He's got some skeletons in the closet. My heart, it broke my heart. Oh, I can't believe it. Sam Elliott, what Biden are you gonna do? He's oh not my a Trump word! Supporter. Sam Elliott told you. Didn't Fifty Cent support uh, Trump? Yes, he did. Yes. Fifty Cent went ahead, so he's giving his uh, Fifty Cents into mm -hmm. Trump. So that's good. Um, <clears throat> news. 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 News on the loose. Let's go right now to Alyssa and Big Boobs McGee with the tea. A Chicago restaurateur uses the pandemic downtime to fly at-risk dogs and cats to safety. Meow. Edward Seaton has flown more than 40 rescue missions as a volunteer for the nonprofit Pilots and Paws. Chicago restaurateur Edward Seaton was living the American dream when the coronavirus pandemic struck. In 1992, he immigrated to the United States from Romania when he was 19 years old and didn't speak a word of English. He worked construction for a few months before landing a job as a food runner at the Italian restaurant Club Lucky since he spoke Italian. Club Lucky? Apparently. All right. You're getting lucky at the club. 
Yes, sir. Over the next few years, he learned English while being promoted to server and eventually head server in 1997. One of the bartenders asked if he wanted to help open a restaurant, and he became a partner in one in one-off ha- hospitality group, which opened the Michelin-starred restaurant Blackbird and eventually 10 other Chicago hotspots, including Avec, the Publican, and Big Star. Then in March, the coronavirus pandemic forced restaurants to close for dine-in services. Seaton and his partners stopped drawing salaries but still had to furlough more than 700 employees who their restaurants, including Blackbird, permanently closed. Mm. The one-off hospitality partners hosted seminars and worked hard to help their employees receive unemployment, but the layoffs were devastating. It was so hard for us to actually tell someone who's been with us for 20 plus years, sorry, I don't know when we're going to reopen. He told today the uncertainty was terrible. The restaurant industry has taken a hit not just in Chicago, but across the country. According to the survey released, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, and everybody's just I'm happy, I'm trying happy. to get on to where he gets to the dogs. <laughs> because hey, saving get to the dogs. There's a lot of, <laughs> of talking about the restaurants and not really anything about the dogs. Not only did he lose what bunch of money, he used what money he had to save animals. Uh, he found an unusual way to cope with these challenges. He owns an old airplane. Most cars on the road cost a lot more than my plane, he quipped. And two years ago, he started volunteering for the profit, the nonprofit uh, Pilots and Paws. Flying is really my happy place, he said. Since the pandemic started, because of extra time I had on my hands, I have been flying a lot more than usual. But now I only fi- fly with a purpose, Pilots and Paws. Where, where do you find a plane that's cheaper than cars? It's well, a mean, small plane. You gotta think well, about it. He lives in Chicago. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of like hundred thousand dollar cars. It's one of them little cars, propeller planes. It's she, like he, it looks like he's got like something like a Vespa. That's like that's like the Vespa of Vesp- planes. Vespa. <laughs> like that's the moped of jets right there. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> anyway, Pilots and Paws is a nonprofit network of volunteer pilots who fly dogs and cats at risk of being euthanized to no kill rescue organizations and foster families across the United States. Seaton has personally flown over 40 pets to safety for the group. On October 14th, he flew two dogs from Chicago to Ohio. Where... Why did that... Where they were saved. Well, yeah, (laughs) an ad just popped up and screwed my whole screen. Nah, it's okay. Anyway... So, but they, but so basically, he takes those pets, gives them a free ride, pretty much, to anywhere that, uh, that you know, yeah. they're going to be saved. That's right. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Good deal. Just like always on Alyssa's Good News segment. Very nice yep. Even though those ads des- decided they wanted to go ahead and interfere and fuck with your your good news, you were like not going to let them. I was in the middle them. of scrolling, and it just went boop. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, those bastards. So we got a couple of minutes. Anybody have anything else they want to add today, or anything com- com- upcoming? Vote. Vote. Go vote. <laughs> By the way, early voting is open in Charlotte County. Yes, it and is. I am taking it. Adv- is I'm in gonna, Minnesota I, too. I'm going to take advantage of that uh, sometime this week. I'm going to go ahead and get my vote in because I'm not going to wait till last minute. I'm going to go ahead and get my vote in for Biden. I mean Trump. I mean Kanye. I mean Biden. I mean- I'm going I'm to write my own fucking name. Forget it. Um, hopefully, everybody else will write my name in, and you know we'll be in Washington. There you go. Yeah, right. <laughs> Why not? President Charles Richardson. Pre- President Richardson. Hey, excuse that me. rings. Excuse me, Mr. Richardson. What do you propose we do on this uh, nuke? Uh, just let's see what this red button does. <laughs> <laughs> what does that button right, come do? On. Oh, look what at does that this button do? Oh, oh <laughs> shit! I just blew up a country. <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh, y'all can kiss your ass goodbye now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Don't want to vote for me. Um. Anyway, that's it. Vote, Mo. Anything you got? Well, I mean, like, n- absolutely, go out there and vote. I mean, d- allow yourself to indulge in this this freedom, man. Like, that's why it's there for. Go vote. Mm-hmm. Whether you're voting for Biden, whether you're voting for Trump, it is what it is. And not that I don't care about the rest of the country. I'm just in a tax bracket that it doesn't affect me. It oh, just oh, doesn't affect me. Right. Also, I do so. want to say one thing too: is and, and if you vote for one or the other. 
Stop the hate. Yes. Listen, you. It's we like religion. It's everybody like, has good. Everybody has bad. right. It's you like know? religion. Stop going ahead and pushing other people to vote a certain way because they have their beliefs. And you know, honestly, I don't really think it matters what monkey's in president right now because it's it's going to be the same bullshit. I, exactly. I honestly think it's so. A, shit, it's a so. show. It, yeah. it's, Tomorrow's the debate. Yeah. Oh, is are they really so doing the, the debate? I'm doing the drinking game. Oh God! So are you gonna drink every time Trump in, interrupts? Biden? Oh yeah, I've got my list. Okay, nice. you're gonna I be drunk before the first five minutes, minutes into Biden, it. Yeah, yes. I know, every time Biden forgets where he's at or what he's doing, I'm gonna yeah. drink every time Biden falls asleep. I'm gonna go ahead and end the show, guys, and you can drink whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, I'm out of here, folks. Take care. Adios. See you guys. See the light.